looming visa appointment, which is tomorrow. I get to leave now at the end of next week, which is crazy. And I was like, you know what? I just take chaos with me everywhere right now. One of my favorite things in the entire world is when my family gets together because it is pure chaos. We're just testing a rose hack. Good morning. The last week has been really weird. A lot has happened and first and foremost I would like to say thank you to everybody who left lovely comments and well wishes on my last video. I, I really really appreciate that. And secondly I'd like to apologize that the title of my last video was quite dramatic compared to the content of the video. From the time of wrapping up that video to preparing it to go live. A few more things had unfolded over the weekend, including an emergency and also then having to be at the vet for a few hours with one of the pets. It was a really distressing weekend and it just felt like everything kept going wrong and I realized that the title of that video was far more reflective of how I was feeling after the weekend as opposed to what was actually in that video. So I'm really sorry about that. Moving forward, I will make sure that my titles are much more reflective of actually what's in the videos. But yeah, in all honesty, I haven't felt this bad in a really long time. I just, I'm at a very heightened level of stress right now from all these different things, plus the looming visa appointment, which is tomorrow. And I really thought I would figure out all of the stress of that, but no, I'm back to freaking out that my passport is gonna be rejected just from the wear and tear. I've, I've really looked into it, and as far as I know, it's just general wear and tear on my passport, so I'm probably overthinking things. I just, everything is just overthinking right now, and I hate it, and I just wanna get through the next 24 hours to find out what where I'm headed next, basically, like whether I'd have to get a new passport or whether the, the, the appointment is totally fine and I can start working towards packing up and being able to leave, but right now I need to go to Officeworks because apparently Officeworks prints passport photos and I just need one passport photo so that's where we're going. Ah toast come here. Good morning from Toasty. You are so cute. You're so needy. She's been clawing at my legs to try and get me to bring her up here. But I just got back from my visa interview and I got my visa. I have been approved. They took my passport and it was actually a very smooth process. Yes, I was completely overthinking it and everybody kept telling me I was overthinking it, but I don't know. I've been waiting for this for so long and I was just in my head coming up with all these random little reasons as to why something would go wrong and I really didn't have anything to worry about. So they have my passport. They say it's three to five days to get it back. Could be longer, but I'm really hoping that at the end of next week I can get on a plane and head on over, which I'm so, so excited for. And then yesterday I met my mom at the train station and I took her out to my brother's place. Oh my goodness, is she falling asleep in my hands? She's so cuddly today. Anyway, so I took my mom out to my brother's place and we went out for dinner. It was my mom, my brother, myself, his fiance and her family. And it was just so nice. And then late last night, I was gonna catch a train back, but the trains were stopping at Burnley and then you'd have to catch a tram and then you'd have to catch a train back. It was just a lot. So my brother's girlfriend offered to drive me but we had to stop in and get some fuel and we pull into the petrol station and she accidentally parks on the wrong side of where, where the petrol tank is. So we go to start the car again and the car doesn't start. And she tries like three or four times, car's not starting. Eventually car does turn on and we move around to the right side of the petrol pump and she starts filling up the car like completely normally. And all of a sudden I hear all this liquid just come out on the ground. And I was like, oh my God, is there a fuel leak? Did we just lose like all this, this petrol? And sure enough, there was a big wet patch under the car. We were a bit nervous about it. It dried really quickly. We drove off a little bit just to move the car and see what was going on because the guy in the petrol station came out. And um, yeah, then we saw there was like a trail of fuel and we were like, oh, there's something wrong. Like we just couldn't start the car. We were kind of like a bit worried about it, but we did some Googling. We ended up talking to one of our mechanic friends and it turns out, which I didn't know, there's actually a fuel overflow little tube underneath the side of the petrol tank where you fill it up. And somehow it overflowed. And I think it might've been 7-Eleven's fault because she stopped pumping, but the fuel was still coming out. So anyway, we had this moment last night where we were like, great, <laughs> car's not started. Something's really wrong with it. This is a whole, thing. And I was like, you know what? I just take chaos with me everywhere right now. It has been day after day of something happening and it's just been a lot. But anyways, it was really fun last night. And right now I'm about to head off and I'm meeting my mom. I'm going to go and do some shopping because mom just really wants to do some shopping. You know, small town, we have no shops. So when she comes to the city, she just wants to go and have a look at some things. So that's going to be my afternoon. And then later we're going to head over to my other brother's place and the whole family's going to be there and we're going to be having dinner. And I think that's Toast's cue to get down. You had fun didn't you? 
little cutie. That's kind of the plan for this afternoon. So I'm gonna head on out and go and do some shopping and just have a really nice day. Oh, Toasty, careful, 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 careful. You're gonna fall down, you're gonna fall down. He tried to jump onto the table and she almost slipped and fell down. Anyway, that's kind of the plan, I think. Yep, I'm gonna go and do some shopping and some whatnot. So let's go. It is the end of the week and I am so happy it's the end of the week. This has been a roller coaster of emotions and just things that are happening, highs and lows, and I'm just kind of glad that I can finish up this weekend and put this week behind me. I had my interview for my visa the other day and I've been told that it takes usually three to five days to get your passport back and then you can leave. And I had an email just over 24 hours after my interview saying that my passport was ready to be picked up, which is crazy. I wasn't expecting that. So I'm gonna go and pick it up on Monday because I don't have enough time today. I actually have just packed a suitcase and I am heading out to see Crystal. Whenever I'm in Melbourne, I always make sure I go out and see Crystal. And I'm really excited because she has a new baby, little Enzo, and I haven't met him yet. And I'm just really looking forward to it. So that's what I'm about to do now. But uh, yeah, everything is sort of wrapping up with my visa. Like it's all happening and I get to leave now at the end of next week, which is crazy. Hi, Pen. Hi. Yes. So excited to see you. Yes, hi. I missed you. You're so cute. Yes, you're so cute. We're just testing a rose hack where you can peel back the petals and it makes the flowers look more fluffy. And I don't know if it's working. What do you think? Like, I mean, it does make them like look a lot bigger. Like, Much bigger. Actually, yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, maybe you just have to keep keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Trust the process. <laughs> I think that that looks better than it all being tight anyway. Oh, that is kind of cute, like isn't that. it? That is, that's really pretty. Yeah. And then it fills out the vase more. Yeah. really fast oh that went really well yeah. i was like maybe too gentle and then what are you supposed to do um, pull it back yeah thumb on the outside and then two fingers on the inside oh, and you're just gonna yeah peel it back a little that looks so pretty i don't think that one's really tight in the middle it didn't come out. You just Yours worked it. really well. You, you were really rough though. I was, I was very rough. I was like, I'm just going but for I it. I like that. I think that looks cute. That does look really pretty. They actually look so beautiful. They're so nice. That one could do, that one was really fun. They look, it's more fun though. Yeah. <laughs> this one's a little, he's a little droopy. I mean, it looks funny because the center's so tight, but like this one. That one looks so good. And so does the one next to it. That one next to it looks so nice. But it just shows off the color more. That's so cool. I love it. I'll be doing that from now on. Definitely, I like that. This was suggested to you on TikTok? Yeah, like I just came across it. And it's funny because Dean came across it as well. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen it, but it does look really good. And just a bit of cheese.
It is well and truly the end of the week. This has been a very strange week. It was all downhill at the beginning and then from about midweek it started to go uphill and I actually had the best time with my family in town. I am so lucky that I was able to spend all that time with everybody, especially before I leave, which was so nice. I really needed those couple of days. One of my favorite things in the entire world is when my family gets together because it is pure chaos. It is so noisy and loud and it's just hysterical. I laugh so much much when I'm around my brothers so it's just the best. I'm not sure how many of you know but I have three brothers. Two of them have girlfriends and the other one has a fiance and as I said when we get together it is the best. I cannot wait for Christmas this year because it's just going to be so good. In the middle of the week I had my visa interview which was actually a really smooth process and I absolutely was overthinking it. I was it was extreme how much I was overthinking it. It was totally unnecessary but I had this deep fear that something would go wrong and it would delay this entire process by months and it's been seven months of waiting and a year and a half since I've had my own home and I am just almost at my wits end with it. You know, I have had the best time being back here in Australia and I've loved it, but at the same time, I've just been craving the ability to move on with my life. And with each phase of the visa, when you find out the next thing, you just go into the next waiting period and then the next waiting period. And so after I had my appointment and they approved the visa and took my passport, I just expected to move into the next waiting period, which was supposed to be three to five days. I was sort of expecting a week for them to notify me that my passport was available to pick up, but it took 20 24 hours and so I still have to pick it up but it's available and that means I have the green light I can leave and it has just all come so quickly it's been a whirlwind of a couple of days of realizing that I'm gonna be leaving at the end of next week and it's just here all of a sudden and it's a little surreal and I have so much to do I have so much to organize and pack which I'm really looking forward to but it's just crept up so fast I also have my flight booked I did actually book it about three weeks ago I decided to take a cast calculated risk and book it for just over a week after my interview because I figured that if the average wait to get your passport back was correct, then maybe I would make that flight. I also made sure it was changeable. So if the passport didn't come back in time, I could change it, but everything has just fallen into place and I am good to go. But it's all of a sudden like, you're going, uh, you have to get everything sorted. And I'm just, it's like a really quick mindset shift from just waiting and wondering to we have to go and we have to start packing and we have to get things done. So I am really excited to run around and get everything organized this week and to be packing and setting up my suitcases and everything. But yeah, it just happened so quickly in the last couple of days and I'm so excited about it. I feel so calm yet also a little bit excited about my move. Like I'm not stressed at all. I'm not worried or nervous or anything. I'm just so ready to head over and I'm, I'm, I'm really enjoying catching up with all of my friends and my family before I leave. And I just feel like everything has now finally just fallen into place and it just, it's just going really smoothly. So I'm really hoping that I haven't just jinxed myself and that the rest of this week up until I leave is just so smooth and it all works out. So that's kind of the update of this weird last week and I'm gonna start packing in the next couple of days. So I will see you in my next video with those kinds of things. But yeah, it's all happening. I can't believe like I'm finally here.